After swearing in the committee, which was armed with a financial war chest of 2 billion shillings, the war on pornography had officially kicked off in earnest. Enlisting ambivalence, its implementers believe it's time to stamp out moral decadence, yet its critics believe the war on pornography is a veneer to deflect the ever-growing domestic problems. The chairperson of the committee, Annette Kasimbazi, in an interview with NTV this week, revealed her plans. Pornography, as it comes into uh, the country, or as it is already in the country, is, has caused many uh, psychological problems, has caused many physical problems, has caused many problems for the taxpayer, because you're paying to keep the defiler who has watched pornography in prison. You are paying to take people to Tabika who have been disturbed by pornography. So you still pay. So the public should care about it. The Anti-Pornography Act, passed in 2013 and signed into law in 2014, places very tough punishments on the access and publication of pornographic material. The act itself has been branded by legal activists as sham and is currently being challenged at the Constitutional Court by Chapter 4, a legal rights NGO. So the committee, I would better describe those as wishes. Impossible to implement, uh, possibly a waste of uh, public resources. The, I don't see them uh, enforcing it, but most importantly is the fact that the, the law that they are trying to implement has been challenged in the constitutional court. The broad definition of the act can also rope in text messages as far as the committee chairperson can define. You have sexting forms part of pornography, so it, now that even texts are pornography, and pictures of course are pornography, and even body parts showing them or, or acting out something in public arena that arouses sexual excitement is pornography. The law is challenged for violating rights to privacy, I wonder how the committee is going to determine if I sent a message to you. How are they going to, to look around and make sure that that's the message I sent? How will they determine what arouses someone's sexual interest? <laughs> Many suburban areas in Uganda have movie viewing theatres, typically made of makeshift wood and sheets. They attract audiences keen on watching pornographic materials, but offer entrepreneurial starting points for young Ugandans. We shall be hurt by this law. We do not show pornographic movies, but our movies have about 20 seconds of sex scenes, and people like them. Varied pornography consumption patterns show that most of the world's watched pornography is done online which would require the Kembabazi-led committee to scrutinize and block ISPs, a measure they cannot take yet. For some too, the fight against pornography is a small, often ignorable cog in the wheel of the country's problems, and as such, they would rather not have it. Raymond Mujini, NTV.